Welcome to the Mount Lemmon Sky Center, Tucson's tallest destination and home to Arizona's largest public telescope. Mount Lemmon is in the Santa Catalina Mountains, located in the Coronado National Forest just north of Tucson, Arizona. It's 9,157 feet above sea level. Mount Bigelow, a sister peak, is home to the myriad of television towers and antennae that can be seen from town. Mount Lemmon was named in honor of botanist Sarah Lemmon, shown here, who trekked to the top of the mountain with her husband John and Native American guides by mule and foot in 1881. The tops of these mountains receive approximately 180 inches of snow annually. This is enough to support the continent's most southern ski resort. From 1956 to 1969, the 684th Radar Squadron atop Mount Lemmon protected us from an enemy that never came. During the Cold War, this was the free world's highest continuously operational radar station. It looked for bombers that might come down from the Pacific coast or up from Mexico. Today, many remnants of the Air Force facilities still stand proudly. In the early 1970s, most of the buildings were converted for scientific use by Stewart Observatory for the purposes of astronomical research. The summit's high altitude makes it an excellent site for innovative and significant contributions within the fields of astronomy and the natural sciences. Mount Lemmon and Mount Bigelow are homes for many telescopes. Most notably, these facilities were instrumental in the birth of infrared studies in astronomy. Their pioneering efforts resulted in specialized cameras aboard the Hubble Space Telescope and Spitzer Space Telescope, which continue to advance our understanding of the universe. Perched high above the Sonoran Desert, these telescopes are operational nightly. Each telescope uses mirrors that collects light from distant objects. The size of the telescope is described by the diameter of its primary mirror, although its entire assembly is considerably larger. The Catalina Sky Survey telescopes, shown on the right, are used to find near-Earth objects. The astronomers that use these telescopes are foremost in the detection of potentially hazardous asteroids that may hit the Earth. Our own Sky Center facilities include the Schulman 32-inch telescope, the largest public telescope in the Southwest, and the Philips 24-inch telescope that is used remotely by observers from around the world. The Jameson telescope was a gift to the university that predates the Sky Center. It's used by youth groups and for other public programs. The now retired Army Tower is a structure that can be seen from Tucson. The geodesic dome is now empty of any military equipment. South Korean astronomers control a 40-inch telescope remotely from their home country. Their morning is our night. They have a convenient schedule for making astronomical observations. The last enclosure, shown here, is used by astronomy camps and for other educational activities. These are the observatories on Mount Bigelow. The 61-inch telescope in the foreground and Schmidt Telescope are workhorses for research by Stewart Observatory. The 61-inch telescope is the largest of all the telescopes in the Catalina Mountains. It was built in the early 1960s to survey the moon in preparation for the upcoming lunar missions. The site met the dual requirements of fine seeing and easy access from the university. The resulting atlas of the moon has been called the finest ground-based photographic lunar survey ever done by Sky and Telescope magazine. The Schmidt Telescope is used by the Catalina Sky Survey Group to detect asteroids, especially those near-Earth bodies that are potentially hazardous to us. This telescope scans over 800 square degrees of sky and detects well over 1,000 asteroids every night. The telescope is the second largest of its kind in the United States. 
Back atop Mount Lemmon, the Catalina Sky Survey used the 60-inch telescope in a similar way. However, its larger aperture and extremely sensitive camera allow it to detect faint moving objects better than any other telescope. The Sky Center facilities represent a new and different way to give access to the universe. Instead of research, these facilities are used exclusively for public outreach in astronomy and the natural sciences. The Sky Center is operated under permit from the U.S. National Forest Service and its activities are made possible through collaborations with the University of Arizona's College of Science, Biosphere 2, and Stewart Observatory. The Schulman's generous gift of a 32-inch telescope has helped make the Sky Center a world-class public venue. It's because of their vision that we have ours. The Schulman Telescope was installed in September 2010. With its location and state-of-the-art equipment, most of humanity have not seen the universe as clearly as visitors do through this telescope. Our mission is to engage people of all ages in the process of scientific exploration at our singular Sky Island site. And from here, we witness spectacular high-altitude sunsets, which quickly fade to unveil the grandeur of the cosmos. These are the images captured here at the Sky Center using our own telescopes.
The journey along the Catalina Highway is one of the most scenic highways in the southwest. It provides access to a fascinating land of breathtaking vistas, outlandish rockscapes, cool mountain forests, and deep canyons spilling out into the broad deserts. Because the road starts in the lower Sonoran vegetative life zone and climbs to the high forests of the Canadian zone, it offers the biological equivalent of driving from the deserts of Mexico to the forests of Canada in a short stretch of 27 miles. Here you'll find plants and animals and geology that exhibit some of the most wide-ranging natural diversity to be found in any area of comparable size in the continental United States. The Sky Center offers daytime programs that highlight these ideas and many more, including ecology, tree ring science, atmospheric phenomena, near-earth objects, and cosmic perspectives. For more information, visit our website at skycenter.arizona.edu. Do not miss the opportunity to visit Stewart Observatory's Mirror Lab. It's a one-of-a-kind science center that produces some of the largest telescope mirrors in the world. Informative, 90-minute tours take you into this working laboratory and show you the telescopes of tomorrow. The Sky Center is a nonprofit organization under the University of Arizona. It's funded primarily through generous support of benefactors and individuals enthusiastic about our mission. In addition, program fees and products directly strengthen the livelihood of the Sky Center. It's because of your patronage that we persist, and we thank you for your support.